problems also whom um, uh, what Paul was talking about here in the whole chapter of uh, Galatians 5 that we will see they are most of, mostly they were being enslaved by their culture still after even after becoming a Christians they condemned one another that means the outsiders those who are not Jews and then they also they also fight uh, among each other they quarrel with each other they hate each other and also they provoke each other and also envy each other in verse 5 25 we can see but what Paul say in Galatians 5 1 this Galatians chapter 5 of course it is the continuation of the verse uh, uh, chapter 4 and then still continues till the end of this chapter 5 and then in the Galatians 5 1 Paul says again that it is for freedom Christ has set us free stand firm then and do not let yourself be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. That means do not become a slave of sin again. Because Christ has given us freedom. Once we become a children of God. Once we have accepted Christ. That means we are not anymore under the law of sin. We are not anymore bound by the rules and regulations that have been following in our traditions or in our culture. So what do we have to do? What do we have to do to continue a life as a children of God, as how God expected from us? So in Galatians 5.16, now we will come. What Paul says here again is that, so I say, walk by the Spirit walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh, or you will not gratify the desires of sinful nature. Walk by the Spirit. When Paul say walk by the Spirit, he was talking about the Holy Spirit. And if you, in Ephesians 1, 13 and 14, we can see, and you also were included in Christ when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, having believed you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit. Having believed in Jesus Christ, we have been sealed with a mark, the children of God. So Paul was telling us to literally walk and keep walking by the Spirit's power and guidance. Therefore, Paul was talking that if we believe in Christ and walk by the Spirit in our life, our life would have been good. The world would have been good. There would have been only the good, good, goodness in our lives if we walk by the Spirit. Because Paul says in 1, uh, uh, 5, 16, that emphatically, we will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature if we walk by the Spirit. If we walk by the Spirit, the word will not, it is definite that we will not gratify or try to fulfill the desires of the sinful nature or desires of the flesh. What are those desires of the sinful nature that we have seen in verses, uh, verse uh, 19 to 21? It is written so many things what are considered to be the, of course, only here in the scripture considered to be the um, sinful nature that we have been uh, doing. But in our lives also, so many things which we continue to do. Here the theme is empower young. But in order to 
be empowered. We should first be empowered by the Spirit again. Only when we are being empowered by the Spirit, we can empower the young or we can empower the youth in our society and even in our church. Now, verses 17, 18, we can still continue to see. But human being, whether young and old, every one of us, even though we